staring into the sun, probably can't see nothing. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Mommy, you want to We got Willow Willow. She's just a spoiled brat. Huh. You're just a spoiled brat. Yes, you are. This one's outside playing. And then... Welcome back to the journey friends. So we're just doing a little bit of an update to other projects. And then we're gonna bring you over to a couple of new projects we haven't even showed yet, which I'm just gonna kind of show you the, the end result of what happened. But we're also gonna go through and do a, a new pro, well, it's one of dad's projects. That's why I really haven't been recording it. But I will do a little bit, which I need to come open this up. I see it's all bloated <laughs> from heat, whatever. We haven't even been using it, but I don't want it to explode. So let's come over here because I wanted to show you that trench that was over here at the ridge back here behind the shed room. So let's get you guys flipped around and let's take a look. So we actually had a couple days worth of rain. You can see that we have water in the trench but not a whole lot of water over here on this side. So yes, it, it is a little wet. It, it's still a little muddy, but it's not holding water like what it was doing before. So it's still muddy, but it, it is drying out. And it's only been basically a day and a half, roughly a day since we've had rain last. So this is Sunday. As I'm recording this and we just had rain but as you can see all the water that is now coming out of the ridge from all the previous right because you can even see like here we have water coming out right here and it's it's still going down the trench you know before even right here would just hold water this would just be like a pool of water and have frogs and all kinds of stuff over here but now it is staying in the trench and it's going downhill like we wanted to, which is awesome. So that means this walking area will stay free of mud. So as it comes down here, comes down here, I, I think I'm going to have to dig in just a little bit more right here until it gets to about this area. Because once it gets to there, then it's kind of free flowing. But so obviously water is pulling up a little bit here. That would be an issue with mosquitoes and, and yada yada. But um yeah it's we're it's doing what we want it to do and that's to be able to not have this be a muddy mess and as this continues to you know release water from i mean because that goes way up the hill y'all and just all of that underground water that's underneath all that is just coming straight in so this is also going to let us know for future projects right that we're putting into this the side of the hill here that it will become an issue with water so whenever we're doing that we're going to make sure that you know we're able to get that water with a, a drainage system to go away from that build so that's awesome that this is actually working out and i know that if we're going to put in a type of french drain system here and have all of that that tile underneath the ground sending it out that it'll be just fine so whenever we put up our wall here we can put in that drainage tile behind it and uh it'll be good it'll be good to go all right let's head over to the dogs area because we have some more updates Hey, so Gladys actually decided she wanted to build little feeders, right? And this is all stuff that we can use later. Hi, Lilu. Hi, baby girl. And then we got some water buckets. So, and then these are just on strings, you know, to where we can, and they're loose to where we can just pick them up to go fill them or we can bring water to them. And then they just sit on the ground. But they love their new pink stuff. So Lilu got Spirit over there. Spirit's a little turd. She decided to 
jump. So I have not finished the gates yet, right? That's still a work in progress. But I got a gate that's going to go in here. And Spirit, being a little turd, because the, this door was off the hinges and it was just laying on its side. Well, she decided to jump that and go over and eat her sister's food because Whiskey doesn't always eat her food right away. Kind of like Willow, right? Willow likes to kind of savor it, let it last for a little bit. But she's been over here digging, like digging, 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 digging. <laughs> Which I already know what's in this hole. I, she doesn't want nothing to do with that. I guarantee it. But as you can see, right? She still got some food in there, but she doesn't always like to eat it right away. Uh, plus, we, we have a feeling that she may or may not have uh, worms. We're going to take her into the vet Monday because she's just been kind of ah, relaxed. A little more than usual. So we're going to go get her checked out. But she's a lot more timid than her sister. So we have a feeling that she's not going to be a livestock guardian. She's going to become an inside pet instead. But that one, yeah, she, she's going to be our, our guardian dog. Huh? Huh, Spirit? Yep. And we got Willow Willow. She's just a spoiled brat. Huh? You're just a spoiled brat. Yes, you are. Someone's outside playing. And then... You probably hear dad, he's over there grinding. We'll get over there in a second. What are you doing, baby? Yeah, I'm doing. <laughs> She's using up some of these old bricks just to put around the, the fire ring. Try to clean that up a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like in the end. But this is what we're doing over here for dad. And I'm not gonna show this entire build. So we've been coming through. He's got some new lights, new wires. He's been cutting off the, the decking. So we got it flipped over because you can see it's got a big old hole in it. So we're going to redo the decking. I got some, <clears throat> yeah, the, the sides, the, the walls, yeah. Which we'll get to that. But right here I got some welding I got to do. Because this used to be like a, a, a tilt trailer. And we're going to make it to where it doesn't tilt. And some ugly welds right there from one of his buddies <laughs> but we're gonna get it all uh redone a new decking some better tires he went and got some better tires brand new tires, brand new tires. and then got metal that he's prepping right now for the stakes that goes in these little uh here so the stakes they're gonna be getting boom some some cedar planking on the side so we've been prepping some cedar. I actually pulled out the bandsaw. We've been resawing some cedar. Got a few more. Got some cedar. Yeah, got some six inch. Right, these were six, and then yeah. one was at five. five. So it's gonna have three of the six inch and one of the five on the sides, and then it's gonna leave basically a six inch gap in between them. But then we have a little bit more that we still got to resaw, and then I've been over here uh, measuring stuff out to be able to to drill the holes and do that stuff. But I don't know. I, I have a feeling either I got into some more poison ivy, or I'm allergic to cedar. So I don't know if you can see on my arm. But yeah, I've I've been breaking out and I'm itchy as all get out. I got more over here. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not allergic to cedar. I know Gladys is, so she's been trying to stay away. But that's like the, the holes I've been drilling. Cause you're gonna do all the through bolts. So just update to some old projects and then some of the new things that has been going on. And then come next week. So next weekend, or I guess as you're seeing this uh, on Monday, uh, come Saturday, we're actually gonna be heading down to Texas. Now, um, we're still obviously been clearing land, right? We've still been doing a lot of stuff here. That's one of our, our biggest things, right, is we're still doing that. Uh, this area here, we are going to be utilizing a lot of cedar, 
right that we have sitting here as uh, poles for fencing which right now i went and got my buddy's auger you can see behind the truck to be able to dig holes but right now little mac is down so uh yeah it's it's just leaking oil way too much out of the engine so i'm gonna have to get an engine rebuild kit for that uh that's kind of a little out of our, our our price range right now like i said that's between you know five to seven hundred dollars just depends on uh which kit i go with i guess and then the truck is still getting worked on um i do have uh, gary from drunk to gems gonna come over and kind of help along with that uh, it wasn't a big rush right if, if we can get that done before we leave awesome if we can't get it done before we leave awesome right it, it's it is what it is i already have the parts it, it's just getting the availability you know around the weather right now weather's fine but they're also busy during the week so um but when he was free over the weekend of being able to come down we had rain right so between you know friday saturday type thing we had weather so uh, plus we had to go to the big city and, and do some stuff uh, to be ready for this vacation, you know, dad needed to grab some things. We needed to grab some things. And we just, uh, our schedules just did not match up with them over there at Junks to Gym. So, but we will get him over here, uh, whatever he can. And then, you know, we're, we'll be flexible on that. We have other vehicles available to us as of right now. So, uh, but a little breezy, uh, it feels great. But we're going to go ahead and jump back into this trailer. Actually, we also have our live coming up here quickly. But I will continue to show you guys progress on this trailer. I'm not going to show you the entire build. It's kind of as we're going through and doing it and, and such. And then, uh, yeah, because this, this is Dad's project, not mine. So I'm not going to sit there and show you the entire thing. All right. So, yeah, what else we got going on? That's about it. That's what we're doing because uh, we are taking this trailer with us down to texas that's why it's kind of been uh hurry up and get it done type thing and not spend you know an entire week trying to do it and record and make a video and yada yada you guys understand right i know you do so all right let me stop yakking get back to work and then we'll jump in do our live and then jump back out back to work so see you in a bit Staring into the sun, probably can't see nothing. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. So, mommy, you want to show off your sign? So, y'all voted, and this is what the name of the wheelhouse is. So, mom got the sign done for me. Thank you, ma. And and dad's gonna hang it up. We're finally gonna get to it now. For names, right? Because I, I know that I've said that I'm going to be punching names and, and hanging names to folks that had helped us monetarily or just whatever with this build. That Those names still have not been put on the placards yet, but that is coming. I still have to get the tools and materials, but I do have it written down. One. There's the one. Said so mom did a good job. Looks professional. They're gonna say in the in the movie, they're gonna cast you. Right there? Yeah. All right. Huh? 
There we go. The old scuttlebutt. <laughs> it's finally named. And got a little bit of paint on it. Now I'm redoing wiring. So rerouting the wires going all the way down. Basically until it comes and sticks out the hole on the side. I think dad's decided to put the lights back onto the fenders. Correct? That's what you're doing, dad? Putting the lights back on the fenders? Yeah. Because uh, he had to take them off and uh, came over here at the old anvil <laughs> to straighten them back out. They look good compared to what what they did look like. They did not look like that. <laughs> and now they look good again. So, but uh, obviously this is just a, a quick little paint job to make it look a little, little gooder. Plus, obviously we wanted to paint where I welded and it got grinded down the bare metal. But let me get finished up with this wire here. We're gonna get this thing flipped back over. That way we can get a new deck put down onto it. And then also start getting the fenders back on and then getting the rails and stuff like that put in. All right, getting a little bit closer. So we've got lights installed on the fenders. So both that light and that light are done. So I still got these little reflector lights, right? The little side lights. And this trailer is actually just long enough um, that we'll probably end up having to get the, the three light for the bottom. We'll have to do that later, but that can always be tapped in, that's easy. So, but this trailer does not have holes in the side. So I'm gonna have to drill a hole here and then drill a hole over there and get those mounted in. And then those wires will basically be running underneath this angle iron, underneath this angle iron to match up with the, the wiring that's in the frame. All right, so, and I'm gonna have to drill a hole through this one and through that one. So, four holes. So, we'll continue on, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all here. We have all of these done. We don't have all of the cedar done yet, but we're gonna go ahead and leave you uh, here of what we've been going on for the weekend. And we definitely appreciate y'all for following in on the journey. And like I said, this is more dad's project, not my project. So hence the reason why I have not been showing you everything, but we got the old sign up for the scuttlebutt. So now the the old, um, the water well house is now officially named. Uh, thanks to y'all, we, we did that vote and that's what got voted in. So that sign is now hanging up. Like I said, I will be getting all the little name placards as well stamped out and put in uh, to different shops and, and things as we continue to grow. But if you would like to be able to help out with our journey, it's greatly appreciated. Um, basically, any donation, you know, of basically $10 or more uh, goes into a brass or a copper or whatever placard that I'm going to be stamping in. I don't have the stamp kit yet. That's why I haven't done it. But I'm been keeping a, a list so i've been doing that basically for the last three four years i have a book of, of names of those folks that have been doing that so that's include uh, memberships so if you're doing a membership and and you've reached at least a ten dollar value then your name gets put towards whatever project we're working on unless you're donating to a specific project okay um so with that, uh, that will be coming uh, soon. And yeah, that's all we got for you. So we definitely appreciate you guys for, for joining in. Uh, just our little shenanigans over the weekend, things that's been going on, updates to stuff that we've already done, and then things that we were, were doing uh, new. But you can check out, there's another video here. You have a playlist over here to be able to follow the entire year's journey icons at the top make it easy to subscribe both here and to our side channel and then last but not least get out there and think of veteran at every chance you get not only on veterans day and we'll see you on the next one later y'all